Hey everybody, Gretchen Wagner here, the creator of the Anti-Boring Approach to Powerful Studying. And I wonder how well you connect with teachers. This is a question that a client of mine and I discussed today, and he said that he has been making a point, like a purposeful point of connecting with teachers uh, every week to just build relationships. When I'm making this video, it's the very beginning of the school year, the fall of 2018, but this is relevant and you can follow these tips at any point in the school year. I also just want to name, you can always tell what time of day it is by my background here. Uh, the sun is streaming in behind the curtain, so it is morning time here in Oakland, California when I'm making this video. But so here are the lists of things that uh, this client and I came up with as ways that he can connect with teachers. So the first one here, and this is what he's been doing already at the beginning of the school year because there's not a lot of academics to talk about just yet, is connecting about shared interests. So he uh, happens to know that his teacher is from New York City and he's been to New York City and has eaten at a certain deli there. And so he just stopped to ask his teacher if he knows about that deli because he loves he loved eating there when he visited. So I thought that was a really fun way to quickly connect about a shared interest and just let the teacher know I'm here and this is who I am and I'm friendly. Uh, this next idea here is to just stop by when you're leaving. Um, the class and add an idea to a point that was made in the class. You know, it's funny, my dad does this all the time um, at church, actually. He loves to go up to the pastor after church and just make a few additional comments about what he heard in the sermon. And this is something that students can definitely do themselves. So the third one here is to ask a clarifying question about either the process, like what the homework assignment, for example, or the content. And even if you're pretty sure what the process is, you can still just clarify and just say, I just want to make sure I understand. Tonight I'm supposed to do X, Y, and Z, correct? Like that's all you need to do. It takes less than 30 seconds, and that's an extra connection with your teacher that's going to serve you in the long run. The last idea here is to ask for feedback on your participation. Uh, in class. Uh, and you might just say something like, how am I doing in class so far? Is there anything more that I can do to be showing you my learning or to be practicing any of the skills that we're doing? And asking that kind of question, even if a teacher says, oh, I think you're doing fine. Another point of connection that's really going to serve you in the long run. So I hope these tips are helpful or interesting to you. And there are many more ways you can connect with teachers as well. So you can add to the discussion here. Or uh, as always, email me at Gretchen at GretchenWagner.com and let me know your thoughts. Take care, y'all.